YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for checking out another video. In today's video, I have a number one with a low taper and a slight scissor trim on top. I hope you enjoy. First things first, we're gonna come in and saturate the client's hair down all the way through, right down to the root, making sure it's nice and evenly wet the whole way through. Once finishing that, we're gonna come in and take a horizontal section from the back, and this is what's gonna be our guide. So this is our first cut, and which we're gonna follow this the whole way through the top of the head. Cutting the hair nice and square on top, and keeping an even amount of sections the whole way through, and keeping a nice amount of tension on the scissor. We're now going to come in and do some forward graduation on the sides and our fingertips are going to be facing the floor on this side of the head and our knuckles will be facing the ceiling, keeping a nice amount of tension on the hair and a good static blade the whole way through and you'll create a nice triangular shape through the contour area. I'm going to come in and use a thinning scissor just on the top of the head. Hair is so thick. While the hair is wet, I'm just going to come in and just thin random parts. Nothing too uh, kind of uniform with this. Just look at where the weight is and you can just kind of judge that with your eye. We're now going to come in and do some blow drying. When blow drying, don't worry straight away about getting into that perfect shape. Just worry about getting about 70% dry and then after that you can focus it on styling into the style that you want to create. What I like to do when blow drying is using a nozzle and really kind of drying into that root because that's where it's going to be at its wettest. And then kind of use a brush to brush it in different directions just to get it completely dry the whole way through. Moving on to our clipper work, we're now going to come with the number three guard, just to remove the bulk on the back and the sides, and come and square off of the head, working our way into that graduation, but making sure not to go too high and remove that graduation that we created on the sides. Kind of using our shoulder here and coming square off of the head. Coming in here, the number one guard, just kind of the bottom of that vertical bar, keeping it nice and horizontal, slightly dipping it towards the back to contour the client's head shape, keeping this as consistent as possible. We're now coming with a 1.5 guard open, working that just under the three which we use first and using kind of like a C motion to not create any harsh lines. We're now going to come in and close that leave on the 1.5 guard and work just under there we left off with the 1.5 guard open, keeping it as consistent as possible. Now going to come in with a one guard open just under the left off with the 1.5 guard closed and again keeping a c motion and you'll see when i'm using this guard i'm going to open and close the lever as i go this is really just to kind of remove that bottom line just to get that one guard line completely out
Damn it, Tito. Another one? We're now going to come back with the number 1.5 guard and here we're just doing some detail work just to kind of remove any dark spots that I see. This is where we're going to come in and set our ball guideline, kind of preparing us for our taper. I'm coming in using the Babyliss FX trimmer just to set in that ball guideline, making sure it's all kind of as short as possible before we come on that full shaver in a second just to get that nice and bald. We're now going to come with that foil shaver. I like to use a single foil shaver on tapers like this where it's quite a small area for the foil to go into, just so that it doesn't create any lines, but you can use a double bladed foil shaver if you have that. We are now just going to come in with our lever open and we're going to close it as we work our way down. Just doing a little bit of lever play here just to kind of remove that bottom line. We're now going to come in and do some detail work. This is where you come in with different kind of clipper guards just to kind of remove those dark spots and lines that you see. Right now I'm using the one guard, but you'll see that I'll put the 0.5 guard and no guard just to work our way around. I can't really tell you what steps to do right here. This is just you looking at it and this is where you just finesse your haircut. A great tip is to kind of look away and rest your eyes and look in the mirror. This is a great way to kind of see areas that need improvement. We're now going to come in and do the shape up. We're going to put set in our guideline just at the bottom of the vertical bar, and then we're going to come and hook and pivot our clip around using our middle finger as a pivot point, keeping it as natural as possible, and only using the corner of our blade. Be careful not to go over it too many times because you may irritate the skin of your client. Getting to my favourite parts of haircuts, the line out. This is where you want to line out the neckline, keeping it as natural as possible. You want to place our clip and then kind of pull it away to get a nice sharp line. And then we're going to work our way around the corner this time here, again, keeping it as natural as possible. Coming in now doing even more detail work. This is what sets you apart from the rest. Make sure to go in and get right in those little kind of minor points in the haircut just to kind of make you stand out. This way use different guards just to get your haircut to the next level. Right, so now we're going to move on to the other side. We're going to do the exact same steps on this side. So I'm going to let you follow along and I'll jump back in a little bit and I'll see you soon. Peace.
Now moving on to the back taper. So we're just setting our ball guidelines. It's going to be the exact same step. 0.5. Open and close the lever. And then you can come in with a 0.5 guard. Just kind of detail. So I'm going to let you follow along. And I'll jump back in a little bit. So here we're now going to come and do some scissor over comb. If you didn't watch my last video, make sure to go check it out. I went into more in depth about scissor over comb. So what we're going to do is come in with our comb, about 45 degree angles, and take away any of that bolt that we see, just to kind of refine the scissor work and the clipper work. And this is where you don't want to go too deep. This is just a refining type thing. Right, so we're now going to come in with a cutthroat to get that shape up extra crispy. What you want to do here is pull the skin in the opposite direction to stop the skin from tagging and just feel a nice kind of clean, soft strokes to get a nice sharp shape up. Right guys, so here's the before. This is what my man came in looking like. An absolute mess. And this is the after. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, please make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below what you want to see next. I've got plenty more content to come, so I'll see you soon. Peace.